back to another episode of Gurugul Online. Uh, the world has been at a standstill. Uh, we hope that everything becomes perfect very, very soon. Uh, perhaps this is the best time to stay at home and perhaps spend some time in learning Yaman better. Uh, we have been practicing uh, for a while now. I hope that everyone have had their benefits and uh, we have been getting emails and that has been really inspiring us to go more. Without further ado, uh, we are going to discuss five things today and these five pillars are going to be applicable for almost any rag or scale that you are ever going to learn. So very quickly, the five things that we must know uh, about Yaman, for example, is Number one, the thought system. You can Google it. It's a, uh, we recommend that you go to Google and you uh, jot the points down, whatever we are going to discuss today. And uh, the first thing that thought, T-H-A-A-T, thought system is almost like the periodic table, uh, only made out of uh, specific uh, rags or scales that have common features. So there are 10 thoughts altogether. Yaman is uh, going to fall under Kalyan Thad. That's K-A-L-Y-A-N, Kalyan Thad. Uh, Kalyan Thad has its own mood. Uh, it has uh, certain rugs that fall under this system uh, that, have, uh, that share uh, similarities, which we will be going through uh, at a later lesson perhaps. Uh, the second thing that we need to know is the timing. So every rag or every scale uh, is not only uh, set to a specific mood, it is also set to a specific timing. For example, sunrise, uh, sunset, and uh, you'll understand more as we uh, talk about it. Yaman is an evening rag, preferably when the sun is uh, going down. The third thing that we need to know is ascending and descending. So every rag uh, is going to have this uh, blueprint as we uh, might call it. Uh, in Hindi, we are going to call it Avarohan and Arohan, uh, which will uh, simply translate to uh, ascending and uh, descending order. Uh, every rag is going to have that. It's going to show you the inner blueprint or the inner way of how you could uh, approach this raga uh, some may have all this all the notes all seven notes some may have uh, maybe five notes some may have a uh, specific uh, uh, specific ways to get to which we will go further uh, but for yaman uh, the arohan is it's going to start from me so for ascending and coming back, descending is going to be Sani Dhapa Magarev. So if I play it, as we already discussed the notes. It's not like we can't play Saregama Parhanisa, but for now, uh, it's important that we know that it, the Arohan is going to start from Ni, Ni, Re, Gama, Dhani, Sa. More on this later. Number four, we are going to study uh, what Vadi and Samvadi is. So it's, uh, it's uh, Vadi is going to be the most prominent ingredient, the most prominent note um, in your uh, uh, scale, in your rag. And uh, Samavadi is probably uh, also as important, important but maybe not a standing note. So for example, in Yaman, uh, we are going to work on Ga a lot. So Ga, this note. Uh, this note is going to be the Vadi note and what it uh, will mean is uh, every, every, if every phrase is a sentence, you're going to need a full stop to complete that sentence. So I think for now, the best explanation is it's going to be a full stop. It's going to be a note where you can stand. It can be an ending to a sentence before you start your next. 
and endings are important and as for samavadi it's going to be an ingredient that helps you acquire that taste of yaman or any rag for that matter uh, but not uh, perhaps not a standing note so uh, a bit of uh, more information on standing notes uh, all rags may not have all the seven notes present but yaman does which makes it a sampurna jati or complete rag uh, for example when you have uh, sa and all rags uh, have sa the first note that is always considered to be a standing note so we can take it for granted uh, secondly uh, in yaman you have ga as a standing note but you also have pa so until further stated in some kind of other rag which may uh, not even have a pa uh, you can uh, use pa and the sa uh, very similarly so that makes pa a standing note as well uh, the samavadi is going to be ni how we are going to study that uh, <coughs> thing that we need to understand is pucker. Pucker is like a catchphrase, a signature. Every drug uh, will have to have a pucker. Uh, it's not always a, a by the book kind of a, a kind of a thing to follow, but you'll get it eventually. So every rag, uh, a, a few rags may also have similar notes, even similar uh, ascending and descending orders uh, in some cases but the puckers or the signature is going to the thing that we need to know number five is pucker uh, p-a-k-a-d you can search for this as well a pucker is more like uh, a signature uh, to let you know that in this case it is yaman speaking and not any other rag uh, it's like a catchphrase that instantly reminds you of a perhaps a specific company so every uh, Every, uh, every rag or every uh, scale is going to have a similar signature that is going to define it and separate it from any other rags that may sometimes even have uh, almost the exact uh, ascending and descending order. Mm. So in Yaman's case, uh, there are a few puckers that could be signature and it is also a way you can uh, you can uh, next time you hear a song on Yaman which we will be just discussing and throughout the lessons uh, as well in the future uh, you can also uh, once you understand what the pucker is you understand how the uh, composition's natural flow of the scale is uh, it's going to help you identify Yaman from songs or compositions or even when you play it's going to inspire you all these are very important is is because every classical musician has to be a composer as well since we are not really going to write down anything for you or uh, you're not going to have a lot of memorizing to do except the theories but eventually you're going to learn how to compose so you can use it as the, uh, the ending uh, uh,
many more uh, maestros uh, of the sitar and uh, slowly and steadily we are going to eventually reach there so this class was not for any practice uh, but we are going to have uh, more practice very soon consider this as a reference video of what yaman is and slowly we are going to learn compositions and more about yaman and uh, more uh, information and uh, more knowledge on having a uh, kind of a introductory picture of yaman in your mind uh, that's it for today take care uh, we'll be back soon bye bye